I'm going to show you some sketches um, done in the period July to September 2017 and we're going to start off with August. So this is the shed that um, Marcel, my husband and my son Paddy put up last uh, last summer. Um, this is a picture of Paddy um, adding water to the concrete and he was very obliging and he stood still for um, the sketch and then when, when I finished the sketch his dad came over and berated him for having put too much water in and Paddy very calmly said well mum hadn't finished your sketch so uh, he's he's a good lad. This was done in Kinvara which is a beautiful fishing village just to the south of, of my home. Um, Kinvara is in County Galway, a um, really gorgeous little village and what I did with these boats was I picked out the colours that they had um, I I suppose I exaggerated them slightly and just made them a little bit more vivid um, but um, but they were very vivid in real life anyway. So I chose the colours green, orange and blue and I made them sort of stand out in the overall sketch. This was a wonderful evening, I guess it says the 14th of August. I went up the road with the dog for um, a walk at a place we call Morin's. Morin's is a restaurant that sells um, seafood and it's on the banks of a wide river which uh, runs along the back of my house and so the river separates Morin's and the walk that runs past Morin's from my house so it's only a short couple of minutes to get there and I went up there this evening um, 14th of August last year and the sun was quite low in the sky but it was hot and sunny and really strong shadows and I just sat down in the middle of all these beautiful purple flowers, thistles and whatever the, these these guys are and they were nodding, I've written nod, they were, they were all nodding in the breeze and I just thought it was just so beautiful. It was bliss just sitting there surrounded by flowers. This is Dongora Castle and it's in Kinvara, the village I spoke about a few minutes ago. Um, on the left I've written a story of uh, one of the ladies who lived in the castle. She bought it in the early um, early part of the 20th century and I think she lived there in the 1950s. It says here, now this was from an old man I met in the castle who had been a boy in Canvara. So I think whatever he said was probably true. He told me that she wasn't loved by the villagers and she was a very keen horsewoman. And one day she was going to an important meet somewhere. And she'd loaded her horse into the back of a trailer and two local lads came up and they convinced her that there was uh, an urgent reason for her to go down to the village and uh, speak to somebody. And off she went. Um, and meanwhile, the two boys swapped her horses for donkeys. And uh, as she got there, she got there and she arrived. <laughs> she arrived at the meet and found that her, her lovely horses had been swapped for donkeys. And I believe she wasn't best pleased. So this was drawn during Krinyanamad, which happens in mid-August every year, again in Kinvara. It's a meeting of the hookers, the traditional Galway hookers. They come from Connemara over to, to Kinvara. Now Connemara is on the other side of the bay. Um, Connemara would have traded turf uh, with the people of Kinvara. The, poor, the land was very poor in Connemara, but they had plenty of turf, um, which the people of Kinvara needed for their cooking and heating and so on and the people of Connemara needed produce so the Kinvara people would grow vegetables and so on and trade it with the Connemara people for turf. So the festival every year uh, celebrates this tradition and they race in the bay and here the boats are racing and there's two colours of sails, the oxblood and the one I call blackberry because that's the colour it is, blackberry. It's beautiful, deep, deep, deep aubergine colour uh, and the sight of the boats racing across the bay has to be seen to be believed they're like i don't know sort of racehorses of the sea just it's a stunning sight and every if ever you got the chance to see it don't miss it it's really something you'll never forget um for some reason i don't know why but i chose uh huh, chief rewi maniapoto of new zealand to draw i don't know why but anyway um, these were two stuffed toys that my two younger kids had in their early days and they were very handmade looking and I thought they'd make good paintings so they were bought in a rum factory in Mauritius uh, incongruously enough and uh, yeah they remind me of that day with my with my kids. So <clears throat> this is a sign on the banks of the river I mentioned earlier um, and it, it's basically warning you not to drive your car into the river which is you know very good thing to remember when you're driving along of a, of a pleasant afternoon. Don't drive your car into the river. And um, I drew these lilies. I just thought they looked nice because the colour sort of picked up the colours in the river and the sign. 
Um, this was painted one evening on the left, it was one evening on the right, the morning after. So you can see the shadows are opposite. Uh, here they're pointing towards the right and here they're pointing towards the left. So this is the um, the quay uh, uh, down the river from where I live. It's about two miles down down the river. And I went down there with my son Paddy one evening and Paddy wanted to uh, swim. So I, I sat and sketched. I think the water was too low for him to swim. But we went back the next morning and he had a lovely swim. And I think I did too, actually. And it was lovely. Late August, water so warm, absolutely glorious. So this is down in near Gort. It's called Thor Valley Lee and it's where the poet W.B. Yeats used to live. And it has this stunning river running along the uh, the, the tower house where he used to live. And I just love, there's something about this this brackish water with them, these little whites, whatever they are, flecks of foam floating around in the surface that I just love. And I love the green moss on the on the on the trunks of the trees. And um, this I drew because I thought it looked well, you know, colour wise next to it. This is that awful stuff, cow parsley. No, hogweed, hogweed. That um if you if you touch it with your hands, um, or any part of your skin, um and then the sun shines on that part, it, it gives you kind of a burn, like a blister, and it can be quite you can end up in hospital if you if you if you get too much of the sap on your body. So you have to be very careful of hogweed. So this one is some flags from the sailing club um, down in the sailing club that my kids go to. And the reason I painted them was because it was my son Paddy's birthday and I coming up and I wanted to make him one of these travel mugs from a, um, one of the companies that um, print them onto things for you. So I painted the flags and, uh, and I transferred them onto his travel mug and he uses it for his tea in the morning. Shh, Reuben. Sorry, Reuben, the terrier is joining in. Reuben, shh. shh. So this is a well-known Galway cake shop called O'Hare's. And the last day before school, I took my daughter Liv, Olivia and her friend Bethany for a cake. And, um, well, it was a good way to avoid uh, coveting their lovely coffee cream slices, which, as you can see here, are my absolute favourite. Um, so I drew, uh, I drew kind of frantically uh, while the kids devoured their cream cakes. But I loved, I loved drawing the, um, the display. It was very, very sort of rural large and very lovely. So now we're coming to Thurbelly Lee, where Yates used to live, that I mentioned um, earlier. Uh, Thurbelly Lee Yates Centre. So this is 31st of August. Now this place floods extensively. The river that I drew earlier it floods extensively every year and catastrophically. So they've had to, this is the thatch cottage that um, Yates sort of renovated and uh, um, and made as part of his living living abode. And now they've taken all the electrics um off the ground area of the cottage and moved them quite high up so that when it does flood as it does all the way up to the, in fact i think it floods up that high all the way to the um i heard that to the uh to the roof of the cottage at times i mean really disastrous but at least the electrics um no that couldn't be right no i think they said it floods to the eaves but would either way the electrics are out of danger now so this is one of my favourite sketches. This is my my boy Paddy on his 16th birthday. A stunning day, 1st of September, stunning day. And uh, Paddy and I um, cycled down to Mulrug, which is um, which is the shore quite near where we live. And the colours just were magnificent. I loved the way his orange hoodie sort of picked up the orange lichens and his uh, navy tracksuit bottoms picked up the shadows on the rocks. So it's a really still place and it's just heaven. There's Reuben actually, you can barely make him out, but Reuben loves to dig around in seaweed. Oh, better one of Thor Lee. So you can see the cottage a bit better now with the roses going over the door. It's a really lovely place. And seemingly when Yeats saw it, he just fell in love with it. And he lived there for, I think, about 12 years, maybe 10, in the 1920s with his wife and two children. Um, I think they had enough of it after 10 years. It's a bit damp and a bit sort of miserable in the winter. But in the summer, it's pure paradise. Um, this is what it looks like from the other side. This is the river that I painted earlier. So, um, yeah, apparently they used to sort of sit and fish through the through the big window in the bottom. So, and there's the cottage from the side. So you can imagine. I mean, if you go in, it really is magnificent. And you can go out onto the ramparts at the top. So it's very romantic. Um, I think it was built in, I don't know, the 12th century or something. But it's really quite quite magical. Um, this is my attempt at a painting of the tiles that I was painting for my um, studio. This is the fireplace that sits on a plinth, a concrete plinth, and the tiles were going to go all around the bottom of it. I've since changed my design but um, to something a bit more creative, So, uh, but still, I had fun doing this. 
Oh, this is uh, the Fishery Watchtower in Galway City. Um, I was sort of following a theme of trying to keep colours more or less in a sort of a limited palette. Um, so I went for the bright yellow, the bright blue, and this is the stained glass window that you can see on the inside um, of the, you can see it here, look, down here. So that's what it looks like from the inside. And one of the displays inside shows all these magnificent salmon flies. And uh, I asked Marcel, my husband, why they're so colourful. And he said, well, salmon are full of hormones at times. He says they're very aggressive and they will snap at anything. So the more colourful, the better. So I guess they found out that those colourful ones work. McDonough's Fish Shop. Uh, yeah, this is a very well-known fish and chip shop in the heart of Galway City. Beautiful place, actually. Great, great, uh, great fish and chips. This I love. This is just a sketch of the apple trees um, in my front garden. And uh, <laughs> it says here, my concentration was greatly impeded by Reuben. That's the little terrier. He leapt for apples. He whined to get away. I must have had him on a lead because I was close to the road. He knocked me and he made a general nuisance of himself. So there you go, that's what little dogs do. So that's the end of this particular um, selection of sketches and I hope you enjoyed them.